I'm already pretty excited. Uh, so cut back to previous Cooper. Two shots of vodka. Oh. Way too much. Sorry, I was focused on the thumbnail. <laughs> I already got the willies. Rainforest Cafe, baby. Oh, that doesn't taste like there's even any juice in it. But it's all juice. <laughs> this video might be crazier than I was expecting. My hair looks rambunctious. Just, just kind of go right here and then pass life regress and figure out who I was. Hi, it's me. I'm Harry Styles. Good night. Paid more than me in my old SpongeBob cup. SpongeBob cup. Let's just look at that haircut for a moment. Let's just take a second and realize that this is on TV forever. Just looking at it, just, you know, kind of absorbing it. Seeing that he made that choice and stuck with it, thinks it's good. I'm not saying mine's better, look at me. I got it pushed back behind my ears. What am I? Orlando Bloom from Pirates of the Caribbean? I mean, when I act like I'm self-deprecating, but I'm just comparing myself to one of the most handsome people in film history, comment below if you think I look like Orlando Bloom from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seeing my son. Taking off the nail polish was crucial. We just got here and I realized I missed the spot. Oh, God. Tie me. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. It's not, it's gonna be fine. Because Trump supporters love to identify each other by their raw, naked nails. You're just gonna show off your bare keratin like that? Okay, whore. I've got this dog collar electrocutor on my neck and I'm gonna be watching some YouTuber apology videos and every time I cringe, I'm gonna shock myself. If I cringe, I'll just hit this button. <laughs> well, congratulations. Oh shit, he's blind. Well, I'm giving you a high five there. Give me the Really? This is your chance to find somebody that you connect with? Under a slathering of lies? Under a cloak of deceit? Well, if I want to find somebody who really loves me for who I am, I have to create an elaborate scheme where they think I'm royalty and I gaslight them into falling in love with me and then once they're in too deep and they're on national television and they feel like they're gold-digging whores if they reject me, then they have to! That's the only way I can find a girl for me! They're <laughs> literally describing me! This is Matt Hicks. He's 23, he's single, and he's Poor. Here's Matt Hicks. He's got no bitches. That right there, that's Matt Hicks. He fucking sucks, guys. But he's English and he's got red hair, so we're gonna use him to lie to women. But just to reiterate, he's broke as fuck. No hope, no future, no plans, no goals, no drive, no dream. I had to dress the part. This, this is God's country. God damn it. This is God, Jesus Christ's country. Jesus. Very nice to meet you, Paula. We got boobs in the show, everybody. We got boobs. Oh my God, it's not funny. My husband died when I was 23 years old, so now I'm on MILF Manor trying to f some young guys. Oh my god, this show is f***ing. Why is this real? Whoa, <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right now. <laughs> oh my god, I tried to purr and I just f***ing almost threw up. <laughs> my name's Johnny and I'm 31. Yeah, you think it's cool? I got this girl acting like she's five years old. We kiss. Yeah, check it out. No, Johnny, no. No, Johnny, go! Go! Leah Tom, I'm cool. Intimidating, it's fine. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. I'm Leah. I'm cool. Whatever. Fuck you. I'm sick as fuck. Fuck you. Leah Tom. I'm cool. Intimidating, it's fine. I can do a kickflip. Fuck you. But then to have her talking intercut with the footage of her going, I am unsettled. This is just me. I'm a preacher. There are Yo, Johnny, what a loser. He let a five-year-old beat him down the stairs. This guy couldn't even outrun a five-year-old. What a pussy, dude. I thought it was DDLG, Daddy Dom, little girl. How are we gonna let a little girl outrun you when you're the Dom? A real Dom like me would beat that girl. You think a five-year-old could outrun me on the streets? Forget about it. Gustav, you weren't even there, but she dominated the charts with this album. You don't understand. This was an impactful moment in American music history. Hey, come on in. Let me show you my collection. Yeah, so it's a big box of a uh, bunch of pacifiers. Yeah, this is the Jordan 3. They don't make nipples like this anymore. Yeah, this thing can suck. <laughs> I do backtalk sometimes. If I had a daddy, I'm sure I would backtalk daddy. I'd be a bad princess. What the hell am I talking about? Joey! Joey! Shut up! Joey! Oh my god, shut up! I hope my mom doesn't grab my pee-pee and balls. <laughs> Joey! Shut up! Joey, shut the fuck up! You know what? This is juice, YouTube. This is literally just juice. Joey! Shut the fuck up! Shut up, Joey! Joey, shut up! Oh my god! And Kelly! Kelly! Just me and the boys hanging out. So which one of these ladies are you most interested in? Oh, for me, I, I definitely gotta say your mom. 
I want to fuck your mom. Jose is nothing if not honest. That was amazing. <laughs> God, what the fuck are you saying, Joey? Joey, shut the fuck up, Joey. Oh my God. Joey, you had just redeemed yourself. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck was that, Joey? Joey, shut the hell up. Someone said she's foaming at the clit. <laughs> Nobody said that. I just didn't want to take responsibility, but I thought it was funny. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Oh my god, I love TikTok so much. Oh, what's this? She's talking like Jennifer fucking Coolidge. The gays, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> Gay Hitler's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, I'm obsessed with Kathleen. Okay, we gotta see that. Okay, let's keep going. Let me tell you about the second dream I had about Taylor Swift. It was the February winter of 2022. I was going through some of the most painful turmoil in my entire relationship existence. I felt manipulated, I felt lied to, I felt gaslit. And at the end of February, I went to sleep and I woke up a new man. In the dream, Taylor Swift was cutting my hair. But at the time, I had really short hair and in the dream I had short hair. But as she was talking to me and cutting my hair, she would cut it, but it was like a tenant situation. <laughs> Like it would go in reverse. So she would cut and my hair would get longer. And she was telling me to stop altering my appearance and trying to be the person that somebody who doesn't love me wants me to be. And she was returning me to my long haired self. And I was like, oh my God. But as she kept cutting my hair, the more she was talking, the more it felt like she was talking about the one that I should be with was her. And at one point there was like a pause and she started singing to herself. And I know all this because I wrote it down, by the way, dipshits. I have a dream journal, fuck off. Anyways, there was a pause in the conversation while she was cutting my hair and she started humming. And then I was like, you belong with me because I thought that because I felt like she was singing her song to me and when I said you belong with me it was like a magic spell was broken and while her hands were there like she'd been cutting my hair and now they were holding onto my head and we were in this cottage I guess Montana and it was snowy outside and there was a fireplace and we had cozy blankets and then we leaned in and we kissed each other and I remember there was more to it but it was like there was like when I would touch her and when she would touch me it felt like there was like not just electricity but like if there felt like heat like genuine like the touch brought heat and it felt magical and in that moment when I was like leaning over I felt my hair like falling forwards and I realized my hair was longer now and when I woke up with short hair I decided I should do that I should I should and eventually I did and look at me now my hair looks rambunctious and it feels to me like these dreams are signifying that I should be with Taylor Swift <laughs>